walking into this swirl of angry protest. This is Joseph Muscat, Malta's Prime Minister, emerging from a crisis meeting of his own cabinet to be met by public fury. He may look and sound calm. For us, this was not just a murder, this was a major case that shook our democracy. But Muscat had actually just been told that most of his cabinet had lost faith in him, that his position was untenable. And why? Well, look at the anger of this man. His mother was murdered just over two years ago. He and his brothers are protesting, convinced that Muscat's government has hindered the investigation. We know nothing. My family knows nothing. The journalists know nothing. People know nothing. That's why we're here. It's completely absurd. Daphne Caruana Galizia was an investigative journalist who was killed by a car bomb. She had just uncovered links between ministers and secret bank accounts. Arrests were made after the murder, but the government refused to hold an inquiry. Hello, the future. I'm, but I'm confident. I'm very confident. But now things are changing fast. Businessman Jorgen Fenech has been arrested in relation to the killing. Muscat's chief of staff abruptly resigned this week and has been questioned by police. And now Prime Minister Muscat is expected to stand down. All deny any involvement in the murder, but the allegations have tainted Muscat and his government. There hadn't been any resignations after Daphne's murder. There hadn't been any resignations when she was alive. That was part of the problem. Had people in Muscat's government resigned sooner, Daphne might still be alive today. There is real anger in Malta now. I understand Muscat wants to hand over power at the end of January. Others want him gone now fearful that the nation's reputation has been tarnished. We need to make sure that those who are responsible are placed behind bars and atone for their sins. Muscat is a beaten man now, a prime minister whose authority has been corroded by growing public anger and mistrust. But what happens next will be crucial for Malta and its people. Adam Parsons, Sky News.